swimmer crab, spider crab, king crabs, they're all fantastic, but nothing beats the South Devon brown crab. I reckon this one would be good, mate. How much is that? Oh, I don't know. Just gonna say. What have we got on this? 7.67. Perfect. Okay, so I've got my crab, and I'm out on a pontoon in the middle of the River Dart. This is where all the crab fishermen tie up. Quite often we'll come out here and have a bit of a party, a few beers in the summer. So I'm going to cook a nice, warming, wintry crab dish called a Crab Newberg. Lots of cream, lots of brandy, lots of sherry. Um, very good indeed. Now, I've just ripped the claws off this. And I'm going to... My crab cracking machine. Good hit with the back of a knife, and you can get all the shell off, and look at the size of the meat in the claws. Can't beat it. Just starts off with a nice knob of butter in a warm pan. So I'm just picking out the meat in the, in the claws. Now, to open this, I'm just gonna turn it on its back, separate the two, look at all that lovely brown meat. Take out all the dead men's fingers, You'll find some maybe in the shell, and you'll have them around here. Break mouthpiece away. Take away all that membrane, and that, with a bit of mayonnaise, will be another fabulous meal. OK, so my butter's melting. Crab meat in there. Just using the white meat for this. A good squeeze of lemon. and a dash of cream. The tiniest splash of dry sherry. Looks fabulous. Little chopped parsley going in. Nice bit of mace. So I've got my mace in there. It's nicely bubbling. And then what I've got is one beaten egg. Give it a good beat. This really is camping in there. And you just stir this. You don't want the egg to start cooking. You want the egg just to bring it all together. It's a thickener and an enrichener. You don't want it to turn into an omelette. Little taste. Wow. Just coming off the heat while it's still lovely and runny. Gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Well, hmm, that's a wonderfully warming, gorgeous dish, especially stood out here. I think most people are put off by crab by all the work, but it's just worth it. You just pick it out yourself, it's great. And avoid all the pasteurising that you get. You just lose so much when it's been packaged and extracted commercially. You're better off doing it for yourself. And you know, I've eaten crab all over the world. Swimmer crabs, brown crabs, king crabs, nothing beats the South Devon brown crab, I'm telling you, it's fantastic.